Woody Chikademics and now Snoopy D-O-double-G. Now, he had an interview with Pigeons and Planes to promote his 13th studio album that's called Bush. Now, it's executively produced by the Neptunes, and he had a couple of choice words for rappers these days. Now, this is what he said. Pretty much, if you guys don't know, every rapper or a lot of rappers these days are doing the same type of no 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 flow. Okay, that's that's the kind of the construct, that's the template for the flow. You can add words to it if you want. Versace, Versace, Medusa, and me like I'm Luminati, it's all the same shit. Now, this is what Snoop Dogg said in regards to that flow and everybody adopting it. He said, I don't know who is who when they're doing that rap style. And I love them all. I love Future. Migos, I love all them. Drake, they're my niggas, but I don't know who is who when the record's over. When I came out as a rapper, everyone had their own style. If you sounded like someone else, the word was called biting. You biting my style. You biting my shit. Now, where do we start here? Because first and foremost, let's not act like um, Snoop isn't, or he's saying something that we all don't kind of know. And let's not act like his comments didn't come off like he's the old nigga in the club. To some lesser extent, it's kind of saying, man, I can't tell who's who. It's kind of saying, man, all these niggas look alike. All these Asians look alike, to a lesser extent. But fine, I get it. There's a lot of boring going on these days. Niggas borrow flows. Niggas borrow lyrics. Ask Kanye. Shit, these days, you technically don't even have to rap for niggas to make a hot song around some gibberish you say. For example, good morning to you. The birds are fucking chirping. Now, Drake, Migos, Future... Do they sound alike? Maybe Rich Omi Kwan? Add all of them into the mix. Now, they do kind of sound alike because they all use the same similar fucking flow. Are they indistinguishable as Snoop Dogg claimed? No, I could definitely distinguish between a future Van Droz across or apart from a young thugger or even a fucking Drake or Johnny Senko. But I think the point that Snoop Dogg was really trying to make is to say that all rappers these days, they try to sound like each other. And to keep it real, he's saying... His new project, he's trying to sound different, and that should be applauded. Now, that's dope, as I said, but in the same breath, there's a ton of different rappers who aren't trying to sound like Future, Migos, or even Richomi Kwan. Joey Badass, Kanye, Mac Miller, YG, Rick Ross, they all kind of got their own lane. Now, it's a solid conversation to be had about, for example, a certain particular sound. It's not regional anymore, right? That whole... Da -da 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 Usually, that would just be an Atlanta thing. However, that's not the case, right? The, the influence of a particular style or sound is not only regional. Had I played you Trap Queen like two years ago, you'd probably say that was from the South. If I played you Bobby Shmurda, hot nigga, like to keep it real, two years ago, you'd probably say, oh man, that's from Chirac, right? These days, the regional boundaries of being influenced by a style or a sound is completely gone, okay? People borrow and take from each other all the time. Now, who should really get the blame for this? Should the artist get the blame? Because in a sense, think about it. French Montana, Fat Joe. When they were rapping on this uh, New York shit, right? They had their own little New York little wave. Their shit wasn't really popping like that, okay? They were rapping different, and they realized, like, yo, the South caught the juice. They both made it down to Miami, linked up with Khaled, changed their careers. Now they're popping, okay? Basically, they got on those 808s, and now their shit is working. So that's what I'm going to say, man. I think rappers, they just kind of find what works. Niggas will find what works. There's some rappers, they'll stick true to whatever their their own style or sound is. But nowadays, people just trying to make a bucket. The hip-hop has been a hustle. It's never been too much integrity like, okay, I can't do that even though that's the hottest thing. To keep it real, hip-hop's all about finding what's hot than replicate it. Think about any, any rapper or any singer who comes out with a hot song. Or any producer that came out with one hot song. Basically, everybody runs to that producer to try to get the same fucking beat. That's how the DJ Mustard Stimulus Package existed. Everybody goes to the same producers to try to get the last big hit. Everybody's going to the new hot nigga to make the next hot song that sound like his old hot song. Everybody's going to go to Fetty Wap for a feature. Everybody's going to go to Fetty Wap for a goddamn mom, uh, a, a verse or a hook or some shit like that. So we got to expect it, man. So is it the rapper's fault or is it the fault of the people? Because the people dictate what's hot, okay? You know what I mean? If people aren't gravitating in a mass number to a particular sound, it's the people. You can't just blame the rapper like, oh, keep making what you're doing. Just make some hotter shit. Maybe they're just not into that sound. So get in the comment box. Make sure you guys like. Definitely subscribe to Woody Academics. I'm out.